Welcome to therave.com. Today we'll be talking to John from uh, Skillet. What's up? It's a pleasure to have you. Appreciate you Thank coming you. in. Uh, day one of the Avalanche Tour. What uh, what can we expect? <laughs> uh, what's going you know, It's first day, so. Uh, you know what? It's, it's running. Uh, uh, I think the show's going to start on time. Oh. And, and and I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> for first show of the tour, that's it's it's a pretty big achievement actually. Yeah, but yeah. no, it's awesome. You know, um, the bands are awesome on the tour. I was very excited about it. You know, we yes. played with Stone Sour one time. I'm sure they wouldn't remember. It was like one of those like we were like the the second band of like ten bands yeah, playing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited to get to meet the guys. The band I love the band. The band yeah. is awesome. Play with Hailstorm a few times. I'm oh, a big fan. They're, oh yeah, they're, they're awesome they're, yeah. and uh, such such a great band. Yeah. Lizzie's got. An amazing voice, so it's a real honor to be out with bands that you like. Yeah, yeah. Nothing worse than being out with bands that you. Yeah, and you got to sit for months <laughs> with them. Like, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, but you know, it's all good. It's very cool. Uh, not often rock bands do remix albums, but you guys did uh, Awaken remixed. The, yeah, the, that's what, right. What made you guys like uh, decide to do something like that? It's, usually, that's like a hip hop thing, you know. I guess that's probably stuff. true. I hadn't even thought of that. You're yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I don't know too many. Lincoln Park did one. I, I can't yeah. Think of there it is. Right there. there it is. <laughs> you know. Um, that's funny. I hadn't even really thought of that. Good question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's probably because uh, m- my wife, Corey, who is our keyboard and guitar player, yeah. um, is is a, a great uh, programmer. Yeah. yeah, she does all that stuff. And she's been, been for several years. She's like, I should do some remixes for this. It'd be awesome. And I kept saying, yeah, just do it sometime. It'd be cool. Yeah. And so eventually we just decided to do it. It's basically Skillet has a... Uh, a video podcast we release once a month to our fans. Yeah. And uh and it's you know it's it's kind of underground but it's kind of it's quite popular, you know, yeah. with that. Yeah. And um in fact I think it was I think it's like the number fourth most uh you know uh, downloaded podcast thing from from MySpace and, oh, really? and all of music or something. It's 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 quite gotten yeah, that it, underground yeah, thing. Yeah. So we do these really ridiculous podcasts where we just act really dumb and yeah. you know tell dumb jokes, road life stuff. Yeah. And so eventually they said, you know, this is popular enough we should do a theme song. So uh, my wife remixed our song Monster. Yeah. And put it at the beginning almost like, you know, when you're watching a sitcom and the song yeah, theme yeah. song. <laughs> yeah. And everybody started our fans were going mental about it, you know. We thought, yeah. well, we should do a, we'll do a remix EP. So that's why we did it. And uh, you know it's it's going it's only been out for a few days but uh, you know it's going pretty good yeah, people yeah. like it. So do you think there'll be like more remixes and you know I hope so I yeah. like it actually you know yeah. it's cool to it's always cool to see or, yeah, yeah re envision a song you yeah, know totally. maybe in a way that you never would have imagined it. It's not, it's, it's funny how the lyrics might come across different. Yeah. Under a different setting, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's fun. And it can take you out of your element. You know, if you do the rock thing, you know, you, you could do whatever with it, with a remix. Yeah, you, know, you can make right. it trip hop, techno, whatever, you know, and do yeah. anything with it. So that's, that's very cool. Um, who came up with the, the Panheads? Like, how was that created and stuff <laughs> like that? Like, how did oh, that Oh, man. Let's see. Panheads is, is really funny. Basically, for people who don't know, Panheads are, that's our fan club. Yep. Um, but it, it started because when we first came out, you know, Skillis only really just begun to get some notoriety in the last three years. Yeah. Uh, we've been around for 14 years now. We have oh, seven, wow. seven records out. So when we first started, we were very underground. We just played, you know, we yeah. were sorry, 200 dates a year. Yeah, just over and, over and over and over. And we didn't have a lot of fans. Yeah. But we started noticing they were very dedicated. And they would bring skillets to the show. <laughs> and they would hold them up in the air. And, and at one, one point, we were doing an outdoor festival. Yeah. And it's like, you know... 100 degrees out and this this kid out there I was looking I was singing I looked out and there's this kid out there with a skillet he's wearing it like a hat yeah and he has it duct taped all the way around his neck <laughs> We got cheese heads here, so I guess. Cheese heads. <laughs> yeah, so so he thing. comes up and afterwards, like, oh man, I will get you some of my skillet. And he's taking this, he's had, he's, he's got like a sweat rash, you know, ah. bumps. And, yeah. and so I was like, that's a panhead right there. Yeah. And uh, that's when we started calling our, our kind of hardcore fans, we started calling panheads. That's, that's a cool story, man. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was going to be that cool a story. That's yeah, awesome. see, I'm cooler than you people imagine. <laughs> yeah, the panheads. There we go. We I don't got... know about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what's the game plan for you guys for this upcoming year? You just did the remix album. Obviously, but yeah, you know, that was kind of on the side, I guess. Um, yeah. This, of course, you know, we're on the Avalanche tour now. It's, yeah. it's a pretty long tour. It's about 30 dates or so. I think. Yeah. It's about six or seven weeks. After that, it's, um, you know, summertime radio shows and yeah, festivals. festivals outdoor, staying yeah. busy, yeah. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of overseas after that, South America and whatnot it looks cool. like. And um, then I think we're going to do our own uh, a four-week headlining run. Just we're going to do like uh, – Small cities where we haven't been in years, you yeah, know, like yeah. uh, 
the secondary markets and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, more or? like third airy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really small. You know, I thought, you know, we should go to and play like, you know, these little these little towns yeah. that never get anything. It's it, been those, a while. Those are the people that go crazy, too. Yeah, they man. They don't get much. We have a lot of fans there. We yeah. haven't done it in about three years. So we're going to finish up touring. And, and my guess is we look at recording late this year, early yeah. next year. Right on. Have you guys already started like writing material? I've yeah. always got music, you know. It's, I've been like, writing a lot. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've been working on the next record. You know, I have in my mind what it's going to be like. Right of course, on. we'll see if that really yeah, what it translates. Yeah, into happens it. or yeah. not. Pans out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there we go. You wanted to say it too, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, did. I thought, don't say it. And I saw you, and I thought, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want. We yeah. have a we. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're two right dorks with microphones. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. Whatever. Just trying to look cool in front of. Yeah. You guys have played here a bunch of times. Any cool ghost stories or any? What's your favorite moment here? Uh, you know, funny enough, we really haven't. Um, I played here once, like I don't know, ten years ago, uh, and I don't even really remember because it was one of those like we got a call. Yeah. I don't even remember who we played with. We got a call. Whoever the band was couldn't make it, yeah. and they heard Skillet was a local band. Can you come down and play? So yeah. we came down and Rut barely made it. We didn't have any sound check. I don't really remember. Yeah, but I but I keep you know hearing that there's all these weird stories. Yeah, there's a, there's My tour manager told me the stories. Like, I was up there and you know last time I was here and this bar stool just fell off and you know and all these noises and it's actually happened to me. I swear to God, really? <laughs> bar stool. I was sitting there at the end of a show and there was no one else there. It's a long story, but yeah, it's, yeah. He, I'm laughing at him because he's <laughs> like six foot two. He's like yeah. two hundred twenty pounds and he's freaked out about this bar stool yeah. thing. So I got to make fun of him about that. Yeah, of course, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's right. my duty as a friend. Exactly, you got to rim a little bit, right? Yeah, <laughs> right on. Well. Uh, anything else you want to tell the fans or anything like that out there? Uh, which which camera am I looking uh, at here? That one. <laughs> that one. How you doing, fans? Panheads, we love you. <laughs> Thanks for supporting Skillet. And uh, next time we come back to the rave, you gotta you know we we'll have a new ghost story. Get, get, yeah, that's right. Get some more uh, yeah. butts and seats over here, man. <laughs> exactly. we'll have some fun. All right. We'll have a new couch next time. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like well, this we, couch. We just, keep, right. we just this is day one of the new couch, but. We'll, we'll, we'll get a new one for you next time. We'll oh. get some coffee mugs too. I he suggested said, coffee mugs. We've gotta, gotta have beverage mugs exactly. so it can be more like a late night exactly, show. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, therave.com, Skillet, John from Skillet, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Good to talk to you. Yes,